Right folks, welcome into the channel. I had told you the other week there that I was moving my craft hut. I have moved from the garage. I've been in every hut in this garden. But I'm in back into my original hut, believe it or not. And I love it in here. I love this hut. It's no overly big, as you can see. It's about, uh, what did they say, 12 foot by 8, 12 by 6, something like that. It's a good size anyway. Um, I've still got a lot of stuff to move through. But as you can see, we're getting there. Up there, this is just stuff that I've bought recently in here. So I've still to sort through that. Um, bits and pieces, a kit box. This is my colon station. Excuse the flask. That's the stuff that's still to go out, sitting on top of my freezer. So that's my colon station. My pro markers, I didn't have enough room for them. Sorry, that radio was getting on my wick there. I don't have enough room for my pro markers, so my pro markers are actually up in that drawer. Um, that's my oxides and different ink pads, some of my paints up there. I've got different paints and things. And This wee bit up here, I've still got a lot of stuff to bring through, so... That space up there is where that's going to go. Here is my die cutting station. I've got my die cuts in the bottom there. And I've got the long box behind my glue gun that I showed you in the house. The new way that I store my dies. So that's up there. And I've got my Gemini here. And I've kept the back space of it clear. The only thing that's in there is a bit of the polythene wrapping that comes from AliExpress. So this is my desk here, this is the way I'll be setting it up, and my wee things here. And this is my memory dies, my memory decks, I've got a wee swap I'm doing with them. So that's my first project on the table. Down below I've got my card boxes, in the Calyx boxes, the two in the corner I've got Christmas and Halloween. Now you don't use them all the time. But as you can see, the coloured trays next to it's got wheels on, so I just peel that out and pull them out whenever I want them. My scanning cut is in there. I keep my machines in the box. My other two are still in the garage. I've got the Toddo and I have the Cricket Expression, the Cancer Awareness one, the Breast Cancer one. So I'm going to bring two of them through and put them there. But he said that he's going to take away the freezer from there. And I might build another set of shelves in there and I'll put my machines on there. So that might be what happens. And there's one of my fall things that I've made for the door. Now that's no damp in the back of that wood. That's the paint that seeps through. Because it's regular. It's painted every year. In the back there is more boxes with my card and my paper pads there. This box here, I'm using it as a week in a table just now. But you can probably see from the side there, it's full of punches now i used to do punch art and i absolutely love punch art and i think it's a thing that i'm going to feature on my channel i'm going to go back to basics because we all have these dies and there's they're all the basic shapes and fancy shapes but there's so much more you can do with them in the wee corner there is some cards and projects that i've already made they just sit there just handy ready for coming out and behind that is all my packaging for posting my favourite thing is Avril knows the post office. That tower there, um, the top couple of drawers is stuff that I've been gathering for swaps and laces and flowers and things like that. And then you come further down, it's got my brushes and then I've got the stuff for my baby cakes, my nappy cakes and things like that that I do. And the bottom three or four are my mixed media. The first station I've got up here. The first um, unit here is all my stamping things. Well, I'm lying to you because it's not all my stamps. I've literally got thousands of stamps. When I used to run the craft club, it was all my stuff that we used. And somebody would say, oh, have you got anything for a baby boy? Or have you got anything for a retirement or a graduation? And every week I would take stuff in and they used to say to me, you're a never-ending supply of stuff and I have, I've got something for everything. Honestly, I haven't come across a thing that I haven't got something for. And I really, that's not all my stamps. In the garage I've still got, oh, 
two big 24 by 24 boxes, I think, full of Christmas stamps. And it's a lot of wooden backed ones. So keep an eye on my channel, please, folks, because I am going to give away some stuff. Even if I just get you to send in a prepaid envelope or something like that, I'm going to have to give some away because it's just scandalous the amount of stuff that I've got. That up there is the stuff that I used in the living room and I probably showed you them before. Um, that's got pre-made cards in it. That's got card in it. This one's got paper packs and things like that in it. And this up here, this tin, wait and I'll show you an example of the amount of stamps I've got. That's just a tin there. It's an old biscuit tin that my auntie gave me. And wait till you see this. You think there's nothing in it? Look at these stamps. Literally, there's hundreds in that tin. In that one bag, I think there's about 30. In that one bag. And a lot of them's no... A lot of these haven't been used. A lot of them are religious stamps. Easter stamps, clowns, owls, love, you name it, it's in there. No, I'm not joking you, there must be, there must be 150, 200 stamps in there. I think I've got a problem. Anyway, got some empty shelves here and here for some of the stuff that's still to come through. Down the bottom there I have some more mixed media in my books because I don't know how you keep an eye on your ideas but... I used to log my stamps, you know, when I had bought stamps and that. And this is the way I would log them. I would reference them, stamp them all out, or use the sheets. Do you know, I think I've got three sets of that. Um, and I would I would reference them so that I could find them because they're all in the things. That's the way I used to store them. Anyway, that's them. That's what the books are. And I'm sure my punch art one is in here as well. It might not be. You know, now that I'm looking for it, it will only be. Yeah, it's not often your wrong card line, but you're right again, it isn't there. Anyway, I'm going to get back to that. So, that's a good idea for you folks. If you, if you keep having to look through everything to find what you're looking for, reference it, get a book, stamp it out and label it like... Um, I don't know, miscellaneous men or miscellaneous women or your large letters, your small letters, that kind of thing. That's brushes for the ink pads. And down there, you see this? Holy moly. That's just stamp blocks. A drawer for stamp blocks. Come on, can't mind. And you're already seen. I've got a load there. Anyway, we'll gloss over that. Honestly, I was running the craft club and I just kept buying things because people use them and I've gave so much stuff away to the school, it's no funny. They could open a craft shop themselves. That is my things for altering down there. That's mirrors, Ikea mirrors and the rubber frames. And this is baskets that I use at Christmas for displaying or whatever. They bottles, I had loads and loads of they bottles and I put names or witches brew or something like that when i use my scan and cut halloween for them and that there's a box of buttons like that box of buttons millions and they two sma tins up there they're full of buttons so buttons are on the hit list for getting shared out as well um and that's my all my woodwork stuff in that shelf i just covered it with a leather thing because it was cold the other day and that's what I tend to do. And I have to say, touch hairy wood. I mean, I did have a problem with dampness in the garage, which we weren't expecting. And I've never had a problem with dampness in this wee hut. I love this wee hut. Up the top there, I don't know if you can see, is my wood burning stuff and my, my gem, my affix thing, and a bling drawer. And that there is last month's magazines and bits and pieces that I've still to sort through. And some happy mail from Krista, etc. And that's magazines with stamp sets. That's the best way that I've found to store them. And I've got quite a few boxes with them. Because I stopped buying company stamps. And I started buying a magazine because there were a wider choice in them. Up the top there, as you can see, is embossing powders, glitters, refills. 
some more stamps in the corner, but we'll gloss over that. Um, some fabrics, some tools, some glitters that I use hanging up on there, and my rest in peace ribbon that I use when I'm making wreaths for that. My wreath forms, the brass wreath forms there. My aluminium tape, that's big boxes of leather because I make my own leather bound notebooks, etc. And there's some old books, and as you can see, they books they are really old. And I paid 10 pence each for those ones. And honestly, I've paid a good few pounds for one book. And I got them all for 10 pence, so I was well impressed. Right, we're getting into shade here, but here we go. Prepare for that, but that's very sunny. I've got three sets of these doors, as you can see. And they were a bit of a mess, I'm not going to lie to you. I had things all guddled up. But I've got it sorted out and I've got the mould thing made done out. You see I've got my washies and things in it and I've got my emboss in there and all different things all the way down. And I've got my soap making stuff still to come through so I'm going to put it in the bottom shelf over there. And cards that I've already made, I've got another box of them because they're going for donating to the school. And I've got my knitting and my crochet and stuff still to come through. But they'll all go in that corner there. They'll go down in there. That's the storage for my that's storage for a lot of my things actually. And I don't know why I keep it, but I just think if I'm going to give it to somebody, I want to give them it in a package where possible. Because right away at the start I didn't keep the packages, I have to say. This is my sewing stuff. I've got fabrics, pieces and quarters and and doodahs, and mints for snacking on, um, fabric bits and things like that, and my tools and my, my floss that I use for my flowers is in there, and that's the tools. But these three drawers, I'm going to empty them and put them in the garage because I've got a large wooden table that I used to craft on in the garage, and it's staying through in the garage, and I'm going to put my sewing machine, my um, overlocker, my fabric stuff, my denim making stuff, I've made a few aprons for old jeans and things like that and that's going to stay in the garage because that's, that's really bulky, that kind of stuff. Right, okay, there's a wee radio. Now, the brackets there, they will be moving because that's what I use to put the shelves up, as you can see. Um, my Zutter machine. That was brilliant. I bought that off of my friend in Cowinning and I think I paid £20 for it and it's got the wires and that with it. And, 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 I've got another one and it's in the garage that my husband bought me, but it's no desutter and it doesn't do thick mount board or wooden things. That looks like a bit of a mess there because it's different papers. It's my crepe paper for my flowers and rosettes and things like that piled up and it's got a wee set of Easter lights on the top that I'm going to hang up so that will tidy up that wee bit there in my kitchen roll because I don't use baby wipes or anything. I use a kitchen roll. And that's our old Dow paper pack. The schools like things made with that and they do a lot with the old Dow. That's a lantern for Alton and my doodahs. Embossing machines. That's a Joy Trevi at the bottom and the cuttle bug at the top. And that's papers that I'm using and the paper rolls for that wee paperless printer. Extra scissors. And this is a wee example here that I was talking about. Out you come. I said I made my own uh, notebooks and things. It's got a wee fastener on it there. It's just thing you un undo. Undo the doodah. And that is an example of... In fact, do you know something? I think that was the very first one that I made. And I had it with me at the doctor's surgery one day. It had a different notepad in it. This is before I was diagnosed and I was going through all these tests and whatnot. And she goes, oh, I love your notebook. I said, oh, do you like it? I made that. Do you? Oh, she said, I'm looking for Christmas presents. So she made, she asked me to make about six or seven. Maybe more, I can't remember. But it was quite a few. Anyway, so that was a wee boost. At the top there, it's just bits of bling, bits and pieces, and that wee sellotape holder. My son bought me that in Florida a couple of years ago, so it goes everywhere with me. Um, some makes that people have made me, some bits and pieces up the top. As I said, this bit up here is still to be filled. My washi tape, that's my extra tape in that tub there. And 
that's the way it's going to be. So that's my wee tub. Do you like that? I painted that about four or five years ago now and I put Halloween sweets in it. Put it out in my living room. No, in my living room, I'm lying. In my hall. Oh, don't, don't decorate my living room. Holy moly. As if I don't have enough in the go, you know. Anyway. Right, I hope you've enjoyed that wee tour. It's an absolutely scorchy old day. I've got the washing hanging up outside. And you probably hear my pump going in the background. And on that note, my son come over for his... My mother stays over the back door. My son come running over the other night, tap, tap, tap in the door. Because I had it locked. Are you wanting a newt for your pond? I said, a what? He said, a newt. I said, oh, why? I said, come on, we're going to put it in. So we put it at the side of the pond to see if it wanted to get in or not. And anyway, it went in, and it's still there, and it's living there quite happy. So I'm quite happy there's a newt in the pond. Right, OK, I'm going to love yous and leave yous. I'll be back on later on. I'm going to make some memory decks and some ATC coins. OK, folks. Thanks for watching. If you like my channel, please give me a like and subscribe, a wee thumbs up and tell your friends all about it. Have a wonderful day and enjoy the weather wherever you are. Signing out for now. Bye.